Tony Tong is chair of the Strategy, Entrepreneurship and Operations Division at Leeds School of Business at the University of Colorado in Boulder. I asked him about the drivers behind the booming AI and humanoid robot industries in China. You know, Chinese companies have uh, tend to be a good, uh, you know, follower, right, uh, in many technology fields. Uh, but, you know, coming up with, you know, truly innovative solutions is a little harder. But I think there are, you know, uh, uh, you know, signs showing that, you know, China, China is doing better, you know, in recent years. Uh, I think this is, uh, you know, through, I would say, you know, education, uh, uh, through uh, investment in, in R&D and uh, promoting uh, a culture of innovation entrepreneurship and also uh, facilitating collaboration, you know, between different sectors, you know, like academia, industry and government. Uh, you know, but at the end of the day, I think, uh, you know, it boils down to education. You know, how do we encourage you know, our younger generation, you know, to, uh, you know, have a, uh, you know, solid understanding of uh, STEM, uh, science, technology, education, uh, math, and engineering, and how to promote that culture, you know, among, you know, the very young kids. So things have obviously come uh, quite a long way in quite a short time, but how do you think uh, China's AI landscape will evolve from here? Yeah, so, you know, this is a very interesting question. So uh, I've been uh, writing actually a paper about, you know, China's uh, position in the uh, global AI landscape and, and how that would evolve. Uh, so so here we believe that uh, China will continue to grow uh, its uh, AI capabilities and uh, the catch up will continue and uh, possibly even accelerate. Uh, now, this does not, you know, come, you know, naturally or easily, you know, uh, the country has to you know, keep investing, you know, in R&D, you know, promoting uh, a culture of collaboration, as I mentioned earlier, and promoting entrepreneurship, uh, which uh, would really facilitate, you know, this, uh, you know, uh, convergence uh, of ideas, you know, from different, you know, walks of life. And uh, one thing I'll also say is that, you know, as China grow, uh, I think uh, we're going to see increasing collaboration between, you know, uh, let's say, you know, Chinese scientists and uh, scientists, engineers from other countries. Uh, so we're going to see this, you know, more collaboration across uh, borders. Uh, you know, part of this is driven by the fact that AI is considered to be open science. And a culture of collaboration is almost a must, you know, for uh, engineers in, in, that, in that profession. And uh, so if we can embrace, you know, a more open-minded uh, mentality, you know, facilitating collaboration, I think China will keep growing uh, very fast.